Well, this is the open afternoon of the Parliament that follows the formal opening of the fourth session of the Parliament uh, by Her Majesty the Queen. That was a beautiful event, short, I think very focused, a speech by the Queen, a speech by the presiding officer, a great speech by Tricia Marwick, her first big formal speech as presiding officer, a reply by the First Minister, two songs by Karen Paul, one of my favourites, a great and energetic poem by Liz Lockhead, and then the Parliament opens up to, to the people who want to be here. There was a procession down the Royal Mile of the, the local heroes. I had my local hero from Argyll and Butte, Somerset Charrington, who cycled from school to school, the schools threatened with closure. And then we've been wandering around talking to people and people have been coming in and listening to music. It's a sort of party. It's a nice party and it shows that the Parliament belongs to the people of Scotland. Well, today's been great. Uh, as you may be able to hear in the background, uh, the day's been full of music, uh, it's been full of people, uh, it's been a mixture of the formal and the informal. Obviously, the, the Queen was here to open the new session, but also the people have been here in big numbers uh, and the Parliament's thrown open its doors and it's, it's a great occasion and, and one that everyone's enjoyed. Well, I think both the, 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 the Queen and the First Minister reflected upon the fact that after 12 years this was a fully established part of Scottish civic life. It was leading Scotland. It was facing up to the challenges that Scotland had and trying to overcome them. And I think the, you know, the proof of that is just look around you. People are interested in this Parliament, they're enthusiastic about this Parliament, and this Parliament is there to serve them. I think Scotland has come of age democratically again after only a few short years of having its Parliament restored.